Dear viewers, remember when I said that, or I joked last time around that my green card had expired? It wasn't a joke. ICE got me out of this country so fast, and not only that, they took me all the way back to Guatemala, so I had to go through seven layers of hell before I went through the modern day hell that is Mexico. But here I am, three weeks later, I apologize. In the meanwhile, a lot of you sent a lot of great questions. And I mean, you, especially that beaner guy with the big sombrero, love your question, but I need to relax a little bit this week. Um, we gotta celebrate. We gotta celebrate me coming back into this uh, asking questions. So the first question I'm actually gonna answer is gonna be one about tequila, but before that, salute, actually wait, you gotta see this. OC Weekly, salute. What is it about tequila that makes it the number one liquor for the Mexican people? And uh, what are some of the better brands of tequila that are out there that might make people who hate tequila like it? Thanks. The obvious reason why tequila is so popular amongst Mexicans is because it's a good drink. Tequila is made from the agave plant, very sweet, naturally been around since, well, since the Spaniards. I wanted to say centuries, but no. Another reason, though, why tequila became so popular is because it's from the state of Jalisco. Jalisco is in kind of towards south-central Mexico around there, and that's known for three things. Birthplace of tequila, birthplace of mariachi, and the place where you could find the spiciest senoritas around. That was the image that Mexico exported to the United States during the 1940s in films. Some of you might remember the Three Caballeros when Donald Duck was playing around with... Uh, Joe Carioca from Brazil, a parrot, and then I forget the rooster, but he was basically the charro stereotype, the archetype. And so that was the one from Jalisco. So part of that Jalisco myth then is that tequila is the best drink on the planet. And some people might argue, I personally like horchata better or even tamarindo, but tequila is very good. As for some of the great tequilas uh, out there, first off, don't go for salsa, don't go for uh, uh, Jose Cuervo, don't go for anything that you could find at Ralph's. Almost all of it's crap. And don't even go for the artisanal stuff, people that charge you $100 a bottle because they say it's made from these small little places. No, no, no. There's only three places that you could legally make tequila in the, the world, actually, and that's in three states in Mexico, Tamaulimpas, Guanajuato, and most of them are in Jalisco. My three favorite tequilas, if I want to get just smashed, hammered, I go for this one. Where is it? Casadores. Casadores. Añejo's good. It's, it's good stuff. There's another one, I don't have the bottle because I drank it earlier. It's called uh, Corralejo. That's from Guanajuato. That's if you want something that's really smooth, very sweet. That's also one of the oldest tequila brands in Mexico going back to the 1700s. But the one I like to buy, the one I've been drinking so far, is this one, Herradura. This one is Herradura Silver. It's the lowest grade. I like it because it keeps you smooth, but also messes you up. In fact, you know, I'm going to get another one right now. Um... Whoa, that's good squishy.